Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Mike Witcher. Thanks for checking out your afternoon update to your daily forecast. It is a mess out there for some. The Mountain County is not so much, but other locations we've seen road closures. We've seen jackknife vehicles. We've seen cars spinning out around town. Schools and businesses are going to be closed again and closing for the rest of the day today. So if you don't have to be anywhere, please stay home. Let the road crews do what they need to do to clear the roads as best they can so we can get back to a little bit of normalcy throughout the day tomorrow. Winter storm warning continues for the rest of the day and into the overnight hours. Remember the last couple of days I've been talking about that little warm nose? We've seen that take shape across the mountain counties, and so that's going to mitigate uh, some of the snowfall totals for the mountain counties. We've seen some freezing rain, some sleet, uh, and some light rain across the mountain counties. But everybody else is going to continue to see the snow all the way through about 5 to 7 o'clock tonight. And then things will start to wind down as we head into the evening hours. So let's talk about those uh, snowfall totals. Again, generally speaking, I said most folks would get about three to six inches, and that's pretty much what we've seen so far throughout the day today. I've toned down the mountain counties to about one to three inches. Uh, we may see a little bit more across Upper East Tennessee, but we're still going to add to the snow, so keep that in mind, and that's going to create those treacherous conditions on the roads for the rest of the day today. And then look at this. It's not going anywhere. Overnight lows tonight drop down into the single digits and teens. And the snow's not going anywhere over the next three days. We stay uh, with temperatures only in the 20s today, tomorrow, and also on Wednesday. Thank you very much for submitting your viewer photo. So as we end this daily forecast update, I wanted to share what you all are doing today. And how about this one? This is great. Heather Lambert passing this one along. This was from Powell. Uh, just a little youngster, just staring outside going, aww, I want to go out and play. But how about this? Seven-year-old Savannah did in Loudon catching some snowflakes. <laughs> Sasha, thanks for passing that one along as well. Uh, we've had some beautiful views, some decent snow. Cody Duncan measuring that one in Scott County of about three, uh, about four inches of snowfall there. Uh, so some decent snow across parts of town and still snowing but Maisie got to get a chance to get out and play I put my dog outside and she did she just looked like me like I had a third eye Wendy Schultz thanks for sharing that one with us here this afternoon how about this one Mitchell went he went fishing today by the way he said the the crappie were biting it was snowing like crazy and he was enjoying a nice day of some winter fishing around town Ben Williams so far four inches in Clinton uh, and a beautiful view that is how about this one oh dear says Gail. <laughs> uh, the deer are out. They don't care. They get to embrace it. They have to live in it every single day. And how about this nice one? This was three inches in Northwest Knox County. This was earlier today, thanks to Nicole B. And again, everybody who shared for these photos has uploaded those through the Witcher's Pictures link on the East Tennessee Weather app. Have you ever been to the Grist Mill in Norris Dam? It's beautiful. It's great hiking. Uh, Joni Simmons was up there sharing that one. Treacherous road conditions in Hardin Valley and around East Tennessee, and this is what it looked like on 275 and Baxter Avenue in Northwest Knoxville earlier today. Have a great day. Thanks for checking in on your afternoon update.